Hi everyone, welcome to another Terrain Direct video. This is another Ringo's Advent Challenge update. So, here we have the Mordenheim gang. Yep, they're all finished. So, we'll run back through which ones. So, we've got the Troll Slayer. We've got this guy here with a hammer, which is going to be the leader of the warband. We have my crossbow man with a giant hand. Um, he's going so in. I'm going to call them all names as well. So I'm, I'm obviously going to call him Gigantus. Uh, sorry, Gigant Gigantus Handus. And um, we've got this guy here, which I just finished. Sorry, no, I finished him the other day. And um, this is the guy that I just finished. He's a rune lord. Um, we've got the guy with the hammer. So I know I can't see them very well. I'm just trying to pick them up. And you've pretty much seen them all anyway. Um, so we've got uh, Santa Dwarf. Um, so many people actually commented on the last video when this one went up to says it looks like Ringo. So henceforth, from now, this Santa Dwarf will forever be known as Ringo. So he is going in my wall pant and he is going to be called Ringo. So we managed to get this guy done as well. Um, originally he was going to have a shield. I swapped this shield for um, just a pistol because I didn't want another gigantic a gigantic handus in my warband. So that's the warband finished. So I got all of them done. I was really happy. Still got to base them, but I don't know what um, I don't know what I'm basing my warband's bases in at the moment. Um, because I'm actually making terrain and I want the terrain to match the bases. So I want to see what the terrain comes out first. Um, and then I'll do the bases after. So I've started this guy. This is Toxic Toad from Super Dungeon Explore. So he's just very green at the moment. That's all I've done to him. Rub it. And I've started painting him. Um, I said in a previous video ages ago that this guy actually looks like Orko from He-Man. So that's the theme that I'm going with. Um, so, I don't know how well you can see. Obviously Orko didn't have a staff, and um, this guy has, so I started doing that. I started putting like the layering in, and I have even given him the little Orko circle. Um, I've still got more work to do on it. This is only pretty much like the base coats. Okay, I have done some layering inside there into the reds. Got a little bit more work to do to the hat, some work to do to the scroll. But I've done like all the blues and the lower reds, so I've got his hat to do and that. Um, so that's pretty much where I am. Um, if I've got time, I'll do the dread knight as well. But what I really wanted to always wanted to do was the warband, which I've done. Really happy, got that done. So um, we'll definitely get Toxic Toad completed. We'll definitely get Orko completed, and hopefully we might even get the dread knight finished as well which would be great because that would be what I originally set, set out to do. Bonus one, bonus two, and Dread Knight is bonus three. So, take care guys, and happy wargaming.